Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Village. This is episode 14. Last time we put an end to the fish form of Moreau, which actually proved to be quite a pain in the ass and ended up taking up like half an hour of the episode. But after that, we were contacted by Heisenberg, who is not too keen to fight us, so he said, oh yeah, just go to my fortress and deal with my minions and get your daughter piece and they'll leave you alone. We also saw the creature that is presumably the source of all the mutations here, which is like a fetus in a, a jar. I'm sure it's not the only one, but it's the the Kadoo. We also got a sweet new revolver, a magnum, which I immediately used on one of those big new werewolves. So now we have to go back and do Moreau's Labyrinth. I don't think we did that last time, did we? I also have not figured out how to switch ammo types. I keep hitting F and... Oh, you have to be aiming. Okay, there we go. So I have to remember that I don't have any explosive rounds left for that. Right, we can't do Moreau's Labyrinth because the elevator doesn't work. I mean, it says Labyrinth Puzzles right there. And I remember it being in a shack, not the basement. But I thought it was like... Around here. Oh yeah, it's right here. Okay. Probably kind of dumb when I said, Oh, I guess we can't do it. <laughs> Last time. But yeah, we found the Mermaid Ball in the same place as the Magnum, so... We can get our next Crystal Skull. Okay, what's the deal with this one? We got a Water Wheel. Uh, I think we want to keep it tilted like this, and then, pop, deposit it. I mean, these are neat. They're weird, but neat. Like, someone had to design this so that it actually functioned with the physics. And we got a gap in the bridge. Also, yeah, the frame rate should be a lot better from here on out. I can't believe it took me that long to remember what I had done to the resolution. I feel bad about that now, but like I can't go back and redo those episodes blindly. You know? I only have a first impressions the first time. Also, I'm pretty sure there's going to be more single-player DLC for this, because there's already a season pass, so... If they do the same stuff they did for Resident Evil 7, I'd actually be okay with that, because, you know, the Chris DLC took quite a while to come out since they had to, like, basically restart it. But both that and End of Zoe were pretty good, so if they can make two, like, solid quality DLCs like that, then I'll definitely get them. And, I mean, there was some other good ones mixed in, like the... There was a couple story ones, even before the Chris one came out smaller ones, like the one about uh, Zoe when Evelyn first showed up. Okay. So, I guess we can return to the town now. We already did this stuff over here by Moreau's lab. What this dot right here is. I don't think there's any reason to go back to drowned houses. I think this is all sealed off now. So, let's head back to town. Make use of our mechanical crank. Well, that's helpful. They really want to drive home the industrial theme with him, considering he built this out of, like, telephone poles. Or, I guess those are just, like, wire towers. Okay, well, we don't want to actually go there yet. Also, the village is probably going to have some more enemies hanging around. Now that we're coming back through it. There isn't really much here to do, actually. Like, I could go check there, but I couldn't find anything last time I was there. Um, there's the gate over here. Mechanical door. And I think that's the only thing to open. And that's probably the way to Heisenberg. 
However, I do want to check some of these surrounding areas to see if we can, like, lower that bridge we saw earlier. You know, the... The one that was... On the way out of the castle. Because I think we can get back to the castle if we take that boat. And get the treasures there. What I am curious about is how much game there is after Heisenberg's area. Because after Domitresque, most of these areas have been pretty short. Well, I say most, there's only been two, but, you know, the two other lords were much less developed than the castle. And I'm guessing just from the screen time Heisenberg got before we actually are going to his place means that he'll be a little bit more developed than the other two were. But, like, I'm wondering how much game there is after we finish that. Because I feel like we haven't really resolved much with the plot. Yellow quartz, more poultry. We can probably get another buff. Hmm. There's an arrow there. I don't know if that's just to tell me there's a treasure there. I mean, if we zoom out, can we actually see... He is up here. There's also Beneviento's treasure, but I have no idea what item we need to open that. We haven't really got anything that seems Beneviento-related. Cannibal's plunder, treasure under the stronghold. Yeah, so the stronghold is over here, which is Heisenberg's, like, factory area. So maybe we have to take the boat to get there. Oh wow, we really just built a lot of these. Did he also finally move all these fucking tractors that were in the way? Because it seems a lot clearer now. It really bothers me that I can't figure out what I didn't get in this room. Like, I feel like it's probably a crappy treasure or something that I just don't see. It's still marked as red on my map. Can I open the fridge? No? Oh, well, eventually someone will have commented on one of the earlier episodes and be like, Yeah, this is what you missed. And it will be too late. Rose is waiting for you. Where did this goat come from? Where did both of these goats? These are large goats. Sorry, but you probably have good meat. Thought he was going to charge me, but they're having trouble. I noticed that little crypt right there was open. Jesus. How many bullets are you going to eat up? Okay, they just give me regular meat. Where did the other one go? I heard it trot away. Where go to at? I'm sure it'll come back. Yep, there it is. Grab that meat. What do we got in here? Broken slab. Well, there is what we need for the Beneviento treasure. It's the other half of her name. I, I just heard a gate close? The village seems surprisingly devoid of enemies. Um, before we go, we should also revisit the fallow plot and get this one chicken that we're missing, because we need every bit of poultry we can get, apparently. I keep forgetting we have to go through the church to get there.
Where is the church gate? Any updates from Chris's team? Nope. Still the same thing. What was that sound? I hear a goat. Sounds like it's coming from over here. I think it's outside. Yep. So they do make a distinct sound, but there's a lot more like environmental creaking in this game, so it kind of blends in in some areas. Okay, well I'm guessing this is the way out of where we're going next. Lichens in the field again. Oh, actually, that's a that's not a lichen. That's a that is a big werewolf with spears coming out of it. Hey, bud. Do we have the ammo to fight this one? Make another pipe bomb. I didn't mean to make two. Uh, we also have the... I forgot, we have the wolf's bane. Should probably use that against it. See, I'm hearing another goat, but I think that's just the chime things inside the church now. Which is what it was blending in with before. Okay, so... Obviously, the problem with this werewolf is that there's not really a house to hide in. I guess we could hide in this shack. Also hard to see him. He's, like, way up against Louise's house. Maybe this is her husband. Oh, I'm stuck on the step. Okay, that's all five shots. Ugh. Okay, those actually explode on contact. I feel like we haven't actually tested that. So that, we got an achievement leader of the pack. I guess that was the big werewolf. Where did he go? Crystal Ancient Beast. That's probably worth a lot of money. All right, so that is uh, another optional boss-ish creature down. I mean, I guess that's what people meant by optional bosses, but it's really just a strong enemy. Chicken's back here. Is there anything at Louise's house? Like, was he guarding anything? Or was he himself the treasure? Well, it looks like nothing's changed here this time.
I wonder if those were actually the first chickens I could have shot. Like, I feel like they've been there the whole time. Okay. So now that we dealt with that, I think we're pretty much done with the village. There's nothing else here to get. So we can start heading towards the bridge. I mean, he says this way. So this is the six-winged unborn key. So... Where was that bridge? The bridge was here. That leads to this spot, so I don't know what's there, but probably worth checking out. So let's head back to the altar site. I haven't seen, like, any frame dips in this episode, so I think it is running pretty solidly now. Where'd you get that? Ah, oh, <laughs> my apologies. Okay, so, herbed fish, let's Thank you. commit. Now to cook! Here it is. Please join me. To a think bit more such help. a dish could be had in this winterbound frontier. Uh, I could get this as well, but I feel like we want to get one of the good ones if I can. Need a lot more fish for that. Uh, we need one more meat for this one. This one we only need one poultry, so we've gathered all the ingredients. Greatly increase our health. Wow. Apologies for the wait. Here's your share. I'm not sure that you need to do the whole process of this every time. To think such a dish could be had in this winterbound frontier. Okay, so we can get this. Mm. We've gathered all the ingredients. Now. Where is he even cooking these Here things? Is. Please join me. You can't tell me he has like a kitchen in the front of his horse-drawn carriage <laughs> that he takes up. Mind having that again? The entirety of. So we just need two more meat for this one, and then we need a whole lot of fish, and that'll I'll be everything. Some new items for you, Mr. Winters. Crystal fragments. Ooh, crystal ancient beast is worth eighty thousand. And crystal beast from the other werewolf we killed. You know, quartz. So yeah, we got a lot of money coming in. Crystal Moreau. Moreau? Ew, gross. Angel statue, chartreuse skull. Yeah, that is a lot of lay. This is Lord Moreau's? I suppose it's what they call the beauty of the grotesque. We haven't found a single thing to put into this necklace, though. Maybe it was something I sold and I didn't realize, but I'm pretty sure I've been checking everything for, you know, slots. I see. Anything else? Grab these explosive blueprints. We have a lot of money, so I should actually start spending it, because I don't know how much game is left. Slap that on there. This is all an investment. I don't know if we're going to get a replacement for the sniper rifle. We could upgrade the magnum. That's 50,000 almost to upgrade the damage. And it's only a 200 increase. I will upgrade this the shotgun, though. This can be done in just a moment. Still no rate of fire increase, though. Wow. 0 0.1... 0 0.01 second increase in rate of fire. Mm -hmm. 
Ammo capacity is fine now that we have the extended magazine. Maybe reload speed? Like, I feel like I don't have to reload the pistol that much. I mean, these, these hands upgrades are, more are pretty cheap. Than one might think. So, I'll get a few of these. I'm going to go with capacity. Moment, okay. Please. We still have a lot of money, but... Thank you for your patronage! I like having a nice stockpile, you know? I wish we could buy grenades. He doesn't have that ammo yet. Gunpowder, metal scrap, and herb. Ooh. That's a... It's a pricey proposition to start spending health as ammo. Okay, so we want to go up. We want to go up here. Get the treasure, which means we have to pass all those zombies again. I know they're not actually zombies, but like, even more than the ones in the castle, they act like zombies, so... That's what I'm going to call them. There's a weird thing where... Pretty much since RE4, all of the enemies in each RE game has had kind of names based on the places they're from. Well, not necessarily. Like, Revelations had a bunch of Italian names for the enemies because of the whole Dante's Inferno theme. But, you know, they all tend to have a, a bunch of names based on the area that they're from, like RE4 having Spanish names. But you never know what the names of any of these creatures are in-game unless there's, like, a model viewer. So I don't know what most of the enemies in this game are called, unless the game explicitly tells me. And as far as I know, there hasn't been a model viewer. Maybe there isn't bonuses once I beat the game. Unlike RE4, which had the bottle cap minigame. I was kind of hoping they'd bring the shooting range back, because that was a fun little thing. Uh, I want to check Ethan's journal. I finally got hold of the third flask, but the exit was blocked by that asshole Moreau. I need to find another way out. There's something else nagging me, though. He said something about Miranda wanting her baby back. I have a feeling he wasn't talking about Rose. Afternoon, lake. I ran into Chris and his goons in a shack by the lake. They seem to be researching something? What are they up to? I had so many questions, but then that giant fish turns out was Moreau attack. I need to get out of here, but he said the exit was underwater. Afternoon, Moreau's hut. Moreau's belly up and I'm almost out of the lake. Then who shows up with the last child, Heisenberg. Not in person, of course, but through a dusty old TV. He told me the last flask is in some stronghold. I'm not going to let him have his way, but I don't have many other options right now. This better not be a trick. Nobody tricks Ethan. Also, just noticed that there's actually other tabs here. Well, I'm not really sure the cooking thing matters. Ethan's writing down these recipes as he goes. That instinct to press 1 every time I see a crate is still there, even though I don't have to. Okay. So there's a boat here. Get in the boat, Ethan. So where can we go with this? We can go this way. Which looks like it leads all the way back to the castle. Or we can go this way, which... Who knows where that leads. Wow, this is the quietest boat ever. Considering it's got a motor. <laughs> Go on a nice little leisurely boat tour of the places we've been. So where does this put us? Uh, I don't think we've been here. I think this bridge was always raised. Or is this where we first ran into Heisenberg?
I like how the crank itself is like super fancy, but then it's just got like a broken stick coming out of it. All right. So where is Domitres treasure? Guess it's over there. So that'll just lead us to the vineyard where we first met Duke. What about this door? Where does this go? Well, can't open that one. I think this is where we first came out of the castle, isn't it? Yeah, there's the well. Which uh, I never came back for yet. Treasure? Ladder? What's down here? That water was really disorienting for a sec. I was like, is that just a drop? So, uh, what's this? Is this where we get the Lens of Truth? It's like a, a trap puzzle. Mine. Can't climb on these. Knock from the other side. Heisenberg set this up under the well just for shits and giggles. Hmm. So, there's like something over there. Well, I can push that. I think first we're going to need to make a path there with these crushers. Alright, so what can we do with this? I kind of wish this just pulled up an interface. Okay, now what do we do with this? I mean, we can climb on this, I think. I mean, it doesn't seem like I can climb on it from here. But all I can do is move it left or right. I can get on top of this. So, if I raise the middle one... Can't raise the middle one, never mind. Okay. So I can raise this... Can I push this off of it? I can. Alright. So now I can get on top of that one. Or do I want to crush it? Because ultimately we want to get over there. Actually, can I just uh, do whatever just happened there? <laughs> Close of rounds, some kind of treasure down here, flashbang, magnum ammo. Why is it all hidden, like, behind this table? Large pigeon blood ruby. Looks like it can be inserted. Can that go into the necklace? Alright. So we need one more thing for this. Uh, is there any way to know which one of these is going to drop on me? Because I can guarantee one of them is. No? Alright, well, so much about my theory that I might have to crush the box to get something out of it. Um, let me see if I got everything. No, it's still marked.
Wonder if there's something still in here. No, it doesn't look like it. Treasure? It's possible that I just, uh... That was me trying to pull out my knife again to see if I could break these. I'm gonna say that it's... Oh. It's possible that... I thought that was a... I thought that was a treasure sparkling right there, but it's a seam in the world. But yeah, it's possible that I was supposed to do what I thought, and I was supposed to do it before we actually went up. But I don't know if that would have prevented me from actually climbing up or not. Still, I think we got the important stuff out of there. I don't mind missing stuff if it's just like, oh, you missed five bullets here. It's only when it's something significant. Okay, so... I've got some different ways we can go. Well, okay, I guess there's not that many ways we can go. I think this leads back to the altar site. But we got a treasure that wasn't even marked on the map. That necklace better be worth a lot of money if we're going to be carrying it around this long. Uh, okay. Apparently there is uh, more traversal we have to do to get to the castle than I thought. We got another brazier puzzle. Oh, I can't just smack this one with my head. So, we need to get those lit. How would we do that? Well, there's uh, probably a gold statue. That one right there. And that is the treasure. Okay, so we can't actually move this. I wasn't sure. Wow, this is a lot easier than using a knife. Or my face. We've released the beasts. Just remember that are actually fairly durable. I didn't drop any treasure for me. I should just use my pistol. I have like a hundred bullets. Now I have even more than I did a second ago. This is where Dombey Tresk kept most of her treasure. In the treasure catacombs. Now, how do I light this one? I know how to light this one. With these infinitely respawning enemies. That's why they don't drop money. Alright, over here, stupid. Yeah. Your services are no longer required. You can die. Sniper rifle ammo. I only picked up one bullet in the well. Thought it was more than that. Okay, so that's a golden lady statue. More magnum ammo. And that's it. Man, we're just going to be rolling in money all over again. So that was a neat little mini puzzle. I guess we're not actually going back to the castle. Not that we need to.
Okay. And now... We take our boat downstream. Kind of see where this goes. So we're probably not going to reach the stronghold in this episode, because... Again, we're already a fairly deep amount in, but... After the castle, it became apparent this was going to be the case that after every major section, we're going to be doing a lot of exploring around these optional areas. I do at least want to get the Beneviento treasure, so maybe we'll go back for that and then save in the gardener's house. All right, where is this bringing us? It's a little ledge we haven't seen before. Which is a dead end. Leads to a spooky cave. Which looks like it leads back to the ceremony site. Uh, I think there's fish over here because I saw, like, a pool shelter behind this rock. finest fish. It was a golden trout. Still not enough fish to actually make the finest fish meal, though. Remember how many sections RE7 had where you were squeezing through a small space like this? There's something in the roots. Oh, look. They've been down here as well. DNA sequencing complete. 99.95% match to Dulvi Mutamycete. Is that what they started calling the mold? The deviation of 0.05% can presumably be attributed to artificial changes by humans, which means this is probably the source. So yeah, like I thought, this is where the mold came from, and then the Connections, which is such a stupid name for a group, turned it into a more focused bioweapon to make the E-Series. Well, the A-Series through E-Series. Further investigation into how the connections managed to find and extract the mold is needed. The fungal colony is spread out under the entire village. When you take the Baker incident into account, the hosts of the Mutamycete are part of a network of consciousnesses. If that network is linked to here, then we could assume this organism here is data storage? If that's the case, then what data is Miranda after? Okay, so not only is the mold, which is not actually mold, but some kind of fungus. Not only is it an infectious parasite which is moving but also it's one of those giant fungal colonies which uh, I believe are one of the largest organisms on earth. Some of these fungal colonies. There's a particularly large one in uh, the United States. If you look it up. A big fungus colony. <laughs> Anti-coin. Oops. And a W870 TAC foregrip. I think that's the shotgun we have, isn't it? There we go. Though I didn't actually look at what that does. But yeah, I guess we're getting a... That's a pretty important piece of lore right there. Foregrip is increasing firing rate. Okay, that's good, because fire rate was something we were lacking on. Oh, hello. So Miranda is hoping that her daughter's consciousness is still stored inside the fungus colony. And thus she can be resurrected in a new body 
like, Rose's body. And to think, this is, like, entirely just off to the side. You know, it's not even a main path thing. But I feel like that, uh, that fungal colony is going to play into the ending somehow. Mother Miranda is going to fuse with it and become the whole village. It's like another case of come to Snacktooth Island, it's bug snacks, but it's village. It's not going to make any sense unless you're familiar with all of bug snacks. Which is still going to be an LP, by the way. I was serious about LPing that. It is a very good game. It just sort of fell by the wayside with so much other stuff coming out, too. Okay, is this our main stop? Yeah, this is where we started. So that was a good little detour. It was definitely worth doing, both for the treasure and the lore. Now we want to... Yeah, we'll go get the Beneviento treasure, and that'll be it for this episode. And then next time, we can immediately head to the Stronghold and see what kind of mechanical nightmares Heisenberg has there. Wasn't there a... Wasn't there a lockpick treasure in here? No, this is some kind of key that's not very, like, labeled? Not the iron insignia key. Let's just try all of our keys. Oh. Oops. <laughs> that was me trying to skip. It's not dummy trust key. And we don't have any other keys. Hmm. Louise's necklace. We've been carrying that around for a while. And it hasn't served a purpose yet. I wonder if there's something I can remove from it? Oh. Okay. That's all. Precious stone that fell from Louise's necklace. Okay. For a second I thought I was able to combine that with the other necklace, but no. Just a treasure by itself. We gonna get another flashback if I pop one of these in here? Oh, they didn't. They didn't stay in. I wonder if I died and lost the checkpoint where I had inserted those. I don't even know if we got everything in this forest because it kind of ran away once the zombies started popping out everywhere. Vivianite. I think I got most of them, though, the bird cages that were hanging from the trees. But since there's a treasure back here, we'll probably get attacked. Is that creepy statue always there? Oh, we can't even go directly back. We have to go through the zombie zone. Oh, there's another goat. That's more meat that we need. Sorry, goat. Haven't seen very many regular lichens in a while. I think we killed most of them. Who the fuck are you? Ow. Jesus. I don't have any healing. I should make some healing. I have one healings. So 
So this seems a lot more like an optional boss than anything else we've seen. Okay, he's called the zombies. I mean, he's pretty slow. And his axe attacks are predictable. Ooh. Bad time to take a snapshot. Oh, boy. Not a great shot of him because of the lighting. Wait till he's in the light, light. Ow. So he must be the ancient Beneviento guardian. Oh, where are we going to restart from? Okay, this is... Oh, this is before we went to the mold cave. Okay, so we're going to end it here. Uh, we'll take on Mr. Guardian again next time. I'll just make sure to save on the way there so that we can give him a couple goes. But yeah, we'll save right here in the shack, and then you know, I'll go to the mold cave again, since it didn't save there. But yeah, that's neat that there's like a an actual boss hanging out. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Resident Evil Village, and I hope you've been enjoying our journey which probably is not too far away from the end, maybe like two and a half hours left if I had to guess. But until next time, y'all take care.